I was just getting up. It's like 9:45, or no, it's like 10:35 or something like that. Anyway, okay. Anyway, weighing myself. 155.6. Try one more time just to make sure. Yep, 155.6. I was thinking I'd low, weigh in lower than that, honestly, but it is what it is. So. Anyway, every day can't be a new low weigh in. So. Anyway, that's what it is, guys. I'm about to go eat. I'm about to eat really quick and head off to work. So, check back in with y'all in a little bit. All right, guys. Just got done taking the tags out of these white shirts here. But what I do? Some of them we got tearaway tags, which you can just tear that completely out. But uh, what I do is I cut out just the uh, either I tear it out or cut it out just the top tag, so you can still see the size. And then I come back and stamp uh, like my company logo. Well, for these girl shirts, I was gonna say that Southern Assassin. Uh, so here's some of the shirts I'm going to have to do. I mean, that's stacked all the way up from my seat from there all the way up. That's some extra smalls on top and then smalls. And I have a, that's one stack in the middle in there with uh, smalls. I have to do that as well. And then I'll show you all the next stack of mediums. But. About to get started on that. There's just a little plate right here. You burn the image into it. Kind of, I don't even know the material that is, but you kind of see you burn it in there, set it up in there, the ink sets on it, slides, stamps it, and it comes out here. Put it in like that. This ink slides forward, covers it with ink, moves back, just stamps it so it gets the image on it and then it comes forward and you have the shirt here and then it stamps the shirt there. So, pretty cool little process. So, I'm about to be on my, my Hong Kong flow or my China sweatshop flow. So, I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Yeah, and you, well. I use a scale to weigh out the uh, ink too. I have to mix certain, st certain stuff up, but I also, I'm running a fast today. I decided not to eat. Uh, so I'm gonna have 12 grams of peanut butter when I do decide to eat. It's 171 gram banana. And I got 100 grams of uh, turkey. And then right here I have well, I had, I filled it all the way, almost all the way to the top, but it's just one serving of some aminos and then a scoop and a half of some glutamine. And that's what I'm pretty much feeding my body. And that protein is made up of amino acids, so just giving myself some free form amino acids and some glutamine. Glutamine is the most abundant uh, thing in your body, I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm pretty sure I, I'm. Yeah, I'm almost 100% sure. Not 100% sure though. Almost 100% sure. Yeah, that's what I'm 
just supposed to help with recovery and things like that. But just wanted to give myself something while I'm running this fast. Like I said I'll eat what I want to eat, but that's what I'm doing now, guys. Check back in with y'all in a little bit. All right, guys. I just burnt my fast at three with 12 grams of peanut butter. Just got finished with all these shirts. Did all those the smalls. Eating on a banana now. So I'm about to eat. And uh, I think I'm going to go out. I'm going to go to the store. Go pick me up some whey. No way. And uh, come back and work on some more shirts. All right, guys. Got some protein powder. Switched it up. You can see you got some all natural kind, gluten free, sourced from grass or cow, sweetened with stevia. See the ingredients. I'm gonna look up xanthan gum right there. It's the only thing I see in it that looks kind of and lecithin. I'm gonna look those two up. But uh, compared to the last one I had, this is what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. The other one had like probably like 20 or something. Uh, just a bunch of bad stuff I see, like acyl flame. I don't know how to explain it now, or the name, but still pretty good macros. Like I said, a whole lot healthier for you guys. Uh, just be conscious of those. Uh, obviously, I don't think whey protein powders have it in it, but like, um, oh, what's it called? It's like in a lot of diet drinks. Aspartame. There's another bad one. I think it's called uh, the one I was talking about that was in the protein, acyl flame or acyl so flame or something uh anyway guys just trying to be really conscious of what you're putting in your body i'm sure i mean i'm not 100 percent sure because i haven't tasted yet but yeah this might not taste as good as it kind of has all the artificial colors and crap in it it's like a lot of sodas has that like mountain dew has yellow five and green six and all that garbage they don't have to put that in there um but what I've noticed, just like the oatmeal I switched from, I used to have the kind with the artificial sweet like stuff in it. And that's when it's the all natural organic kind. Yeah, at first it didn't taste as good. But, you know, after a couple times eating it, like that one starts tasting really good. And then I, I don't have a desire to go back. Same thing with once I started drinking sodas, I'll drink water, milk. You know, I'll drink. I haven't drunk Gatorade or Powerade. I don't know how long, but I will drink those. But the sugars is really high on those. But I'm just something I will drink. But basically, cut out all the sodas and tea and stuff, or like you know, regular sweet teas. What I used to drink. Basically, just mostly the thing I only drink is water, pretty much, and milk. Uh, but just be really conscious of what you're putting in your body, guys. Like, I feel like if you can cut out all those garbage ingredients, you'll feel a whole lot better. And uh, especially over time, just keep taking those little doses of those garbage stuff that's terrible for you. Like, that's why they link that stuff to Alzheimer's and stuff, like aspartame. So, make the switch. Sure, it might not taste as good right now, but you'll get used to it. And then you'll start liking it, I'm telling you. Then you'll never miss it once you switch. Anyway, other than that, picked up two things of turkey and another thing of peanut butter. This is the one I had earlier. Oh, let's see, put that in there. All right, guys, I'm about to go in and make this smoothie meal. Catch on a bit. All right, guys, I just got done walking. I'm back, about to get another stack of shirts. Start printing on those in a second, but uh, I'll probably show y'all. I'll show y'all on the other video what it looks like when I use the pad printer. Basically, my I'll show y'all though. But basically, my shoulders are forward like crazy, and my arms are up. So, I'm using my front delt like crazy. Had to sit in bad posture, so. What I'm about to do, um, gonna do some of this right here, underhand, with no weight on it, just to, uh, obviously when I'm back there doing that, I'm not using a lot of weight, I just, I do feel the burn though, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this to try to counter, uh, counteract that, you get what I'm saying, because I'm working that muscle a lot doing that, so I'm gonna work this muscle a little bit with doing this, obviously nothing close to failure, just, just getting some reps that way, basically, and try to balance my, you know, the day out from doing that. Posture nice and good.
Now I'm going to go underhand, close as I can go in. Alright. I'm probably gonna do one more set, just doing it by feel. So So I'm doing guys. I'm about to go back after that. So after that I'm going back and print some more shirts. See y'all in the next clip. Alright guys, sorry, I think I ran out of space again earlier, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I did work and I was going to show you all the shirts I did today, but I uh, ran out of space anyway. Kind of late, staying up pretty late working on this. Finally done with it though, it's a new art piece. See, got sleeping, got the clock over there. It's got question marks for the time. So that's that. Focus, but I'm about to head to bed, guys. See you on the end.